Let's talk about how to manage secrets using Keyboard. Back to the distributed version of Pet Clinic, there are about five apps here. Let's zoom into Customer Service app. I'm looking at the configuration here. Secrets are set as environment variables. When I reveal all values, secrets can be seen by anyone. That is not good from a zero trust point of view. I have a second installation of the distributed version of Pet Clinic. Let's zoom into Customer Service app again. I'm looking at the configuration. There are no secrets here at all. I'm going to open up this application. The app works. How did we manage secrets here? Let's go into Customer Service app. Uh, what I've done here is I've enabled the managed identity for the app and then loaded secrets into Key Vault. Here's the Key Vault. You can see all the secrets here. Let's look at one of these secrets, maybe the MySQL server full name. I'm going to show you the secret right here. So if I show secret value, it'll show you it's pet clinic. After enabling the managed identity for the customer service, what I've done here is I've granted the role-based access to the machine identity of the apps so that they can read the secrets directly from the key wall. This way, only the apps know how to load the secrets. No one else knows. That is zero trust in action. So you can control the distribution of secrets to reduce accidental leakage by centralizing storage of application secrets. Only applications can securely access these secrets because everything is controlled using RBAC to the key vault. When an app is loading secrets, it will be authenticated and authorized using Azure Active Directory and Azure RBAC. You can monitor the access and use of secrets in Keyword. Everyone can build cloud native solutions today and advance them to production. You can get started today. Quick start is a good start. You can also use a self paced workshop. You can deploy the same demo code that we showed you today. Let us know how you are building impactful solutions. Thank you for watching.